when I whistle, it's to try to add a note of poignancy, but last night and tonight people are laughing and it makes it hard to whistle on it. <laughs> They've played my stuff on tons of podcasts and broadcasts and movies with Rebecca De Mornay. Been used in jingles by the sackful for Snapple and tonsils and folks who passed away. Yeah, you can hear me on the iPods and hot rods and old sobs or any kind of car. But never on All Things Considered or Morning Edition, no, not on NPR. I get royalties from Israel and Iran, India and Spain, France and Uzbekistan. I still hope someday to become a star, but it sure won't be thanks to NPR. I've been compared to Tom T. Hall, Jackie Mason, Jimmy Rogers, Michelle Silverstein, and Mark Twain. But if you listen just to NPR like I do, you'd probably never hear my name again. Hundreds of thousands of plays of videos on radio, country, and rock. Google me sometimes, son. Seriously, Google me. But I'm not literary or exotic, neurotic, a film star, or descended from one. I'm not paranoid enough to think they fear it. But as far as my stuff, they just won't go near it. I'm not trying to burn bridges, but I'll go so far as to say you'll hear me never on NPR. Yes, I've been compared to Loudon Wainwright, yes, that's right, Towns Van Sant, Phil Oaks, and Bobby Bear. Not only that, to Paul Kraft, Ray Stevens, and even to the man himself, Tom Lair. My friend Buddy has been hallowed by James Fallows and Dave Barry, but never by Stephen Ski. By fire signs, Phil Proctor, Hotting Carter, but from NPR you'll never hear a peep. I don't think there's any one human being who's had more of an influence on my life than Buddy has, uh, except maybe uh, Jesus or Abraham Lincoln. Buddy came in. This is so. From day one, he was everybody's cousin. Buddy uh, clearly has a very close relationship with those who uh, watch him perform. When I went to visit Buddy in the Tri Cities to try to learn more about him, I think one of the things that impressed me most. Oh, hiya, Buddy. This is your old pal Phil Proctor. I don't know if you remember, but we met in Austin, Texas.